When you make it universal, it gets rid of the stigma completely. Thousands of Ohio students come from a food insecure household. With that, we thank you for staying with us at 530. I'm Jennifer Bullock. I'm Jared Smalley, and now a coalition is trying to help alleviate that struggle. Yeah, NBC4 State House reporter Natalie Fami tells us whether it could get done and when. Natalie. Jennifer Jared, they're talking about implementing a universal free lunch program. It would cost taxpayers millions of dollars, but it's something advocates and lawmakers are taking a hard look at. We're talking about Ohio's future workforce. Catherine Unger is a co-founder of the Hunger Free Schools Ohio Coalition. She tells me one in five children in Ohio come from a food insecure household. Sometimes these students are waiting a long time before their next meal. So her coalition is pushing for the creation of a free lunch program for all students, regardless of their household income. It's a program that has been considered at the Ohio State House. We can say free lunches, but they're not really free lunches. Someone's paying for that lunch. Uh, we just got to figure out, uh, again, how do we try to save money and do this the most cost effective way? Unger says, for example, some school districts throw out a student's lunch if they reach a certain debt. Imagine they were just in class for four hours, a, a first grader, and they get to the lunch line and now they can't have that hot meal that the, all their friends are having at the table. Others bar students from extracurricular activities and some schools won't allow a student to walk during their graduation. You can think about what that means and what how they carry that with them in terms of stigma for a long time. It's something that, that we've got to correct, we've got to fix. As far as policy at the state house goes, it's estimated to cost taxpayers $300 million in the state operating budget. The next budget will be worked on starting next year. People that you know might support this, such as maybe even myself, um, would have to take a good hard look to see, you know, what are we willing to cut to, to get to these priorities for the state. Recent polling conducted by a Republican research firm of 700 Ohioans shows about 67 percent are in favor of a universal free lunch and breakfast program. Local for you at the State House, I'm Natalie Fami, NBC4. Okay.